Ever since I started testing products, people have asked me about ink tents and alcohol ink. And I wanted to show the difference today in what the different mediums do. Here I have some water and a Q-tip. Very nice, very marker-like. I love ink tents. And then I just do another one in the blue. Breaks down easily. The only problem I see in the water is on coloring books if you add too much water, especially if you're going to be layering and that's something to keep in mind, your paper. I'm going to try it with some alcohol and that's what people have been asking me to try. Also very nice. I think it spreads easier with the water than the alcohol, but on the other hand, right now, it dries really quickly and that is a huge plus when it comes to coloring books. On regular artwork, you have to kind of make up your mind on what you want. This dries really super quick. This is still moist. The third one that I was going to try, and that's because somebody's going to ask me. I don't personally use mineral oil on my artwork. It's a personal choice. I don't like the greasiness. But I wanted to see what would happen if I tried to activate this with mineral oil. Okay, and then the blue. Okay, it works, but no, it doesn't blend it out as nicely as the water did. I don't really see the necessity of having to apply multiple layers of mineral oil to a picture. I like the alcohol a lot, and as I said, the water did spread the easiest. didn't spread as far with alcohol, but you might not want it to spread that fast, and considering the way it dries, it's a toss-up between these two. Do you recognize these trays? They're from diamond paintings, and anytime you do a di diamond painting, they give you one of these trays. My father does diamond paintings, and you can see I've got quite a collection of them. These things are fantastic as paint trays. They have that graded bottom. They mix paint really, really well. If you don't want your paint to dry out while you're painting, they easy cover up and remove. They're also very easy to clean because they're plastic, the paint peels right off of them. If you've ever tried rendering fire with colored pencil, you know it's not easy. It's not hard either, but it takes a very long time. And it's one of those techniques that comes up at the end. It won't look realistic until you get your final details into it. I wanted to come up with a technique that would quicken the process. The first thing that came to mind would be graphite. Now graphite renders smoke very easily. Whenever you add yellow to graphite, it becomes very muddy colored. What I thought of is adding a base or a medium to it. My first attempt was horrible. I added graphite to gloss medium. Now I can tell you this was horrible. Not only did it become sticky, but it pulled apart and you can see my paintbrush and it was really disgusting. Not only that, but it clumped up and this is what I got the first time. But I didn't give up. I needed to keep trying. This is the recipe out on the internet on how to create a smoky paint. Can't always believe what's on the internet. I started to rethink it. And like the gouache, I wanted something that was really quick drying. Like actually, I thought of using gouache and graphite. But then I, I said, hmm, let's just try this. I added a little paint thinner to the graphite. This was game changer. This hack is so good, I'm gonna do a full tutorial instead of just trying to piecemeal it together. This took me three layers, four colors, 15 minutes, and I rendered fire. Now, the first one took me about three hours, and it was okay, it looked like fire. It's realistic, but it is nothing compared to this. And don't worry, I'll be showing you how to do it. 2022 Passover meal. 
not religious, not paste a dip, <laughs> but good all the same. So we start off with gefilte fish, homemade. And this is what, stuff derma? Yeah, I think this is what And then we have onions, mushrooms, and oh, shallots. Cream sauce. And what? Cream sauce. In a cream sauce. And a Jacques Pepin. <laughs> this is cucumber salad. German cucumber salad. German cucumber salad. And this is noodle kogo. Potato. Potato kogo. And our meat is corned beef. Of course, not kosher. <laughs> We're not religious. All cooked by my husband. Delicious. Oh, and sangria wine. My next epic fail was inspired by Electric Mandela Lucy Prosper on TikTok. I fell in love with this stone. I thought the colors were beautiful. And what made me so excited about it is that she was using solar colored dust. Now this is a paint that changes color in the heat. And I love this stuff. It only comes in tiny bottles, 10 grams. So when you pick your project, you gotta pick your project. You don't get much. So when I saw this, my solar colored dust was starting to get older. I was afraid that if I didn't use it, I would lose it. And I finally found the project that I wanted to do except I was gonna make a candle hole. In the video where I did my last painted stone, I ran out of casting plaster. And I went to the store Hobby Lobby. I usually get it off the internet and I went to Hobby Lobby and I just grabbed the first bag that I saw. I didn't even think that I was not buying the right thing. And I bought casting plaster, which is completely different than the plaster that they have that is the ceramic plaster. So when I got it home and I mixed it up, I knew immediately without even figuring out that I bought the wrong stuff, I knew immediately the texture of the mixture was just not right, no matter what I did. And I made two of them. And they came out bumpy on the outside, which has never happened to me before. And the paint did not adhere to them very well. So they were literally a total epic fail. And I wasted a lot of my solar dust on it. The second one, when I tried it, I didn't put the solar dust on. I stopped. And I said, oh, this is, this is a problem because the paint was not sticking to it. Went back to the store and I finally, I bought a big bag of the right stuff. I blended it up and it was perfect. And I have a perfect stone. It's not ready to create another project. I'm going to do this stone. I love this design. I'm not doing her design exactly. I'm going to do it similar, but in my own style and my own adding my own flair to it. But this was my absolute epic fail for the week.